Graphs are a great way to tell stories and work exceptionally well if you can change them over time to emphasize key points in your story. A neat way of doing this is increasing or decreasing the size of data points in bar charts. Charts are a great tool to use in visual storytelling. Here, for example, we're showing that there used to be 40 million people in our target market. But due to changes in the market, we've seen that decline to only 20 million, which is the opportunity we should now be focusing on. OK, pretty simple story, but you get the idea. It's made all the more powerful by using the chart to show the numbers and, importantly, the difference between the original and the current state. It's achieved by shrinking a bar chart. If you're using live PowerPoint charts based on an Excel sheet, then this is pretty difficult to do, and it might be worth recreating your graph as PowerPoint shapes instead. It's probably quicker. Copy the chart using Ctrl and C, and then use the Paste button on the Home tab, click on the drop-down, choose Paste Special, and select Picture Enhanced Metafile. Then select the new image, ungroup, and say yes to the pop-up box. Then ungroup it again, and you've got your chart as a series of PowerPoint objects that you can easily manipulate. Just remember that you lose the Excel table with this, so make sure your chart is accurate before doing it. You can use the Grow Shrink animation in PowerPoint to make anything larger or smaller. So if I click on this bar and add the animation, you'll see that it gets larger, but it grows out from the center in all directions, which doesn't help. And that's because PowerPoint is a dumb program and doesn't realize you want to make it grow up from the axis, but you can trick it. Duplicate your bar and making the second one invisible with no fill and no outline, position the second bar directly below the axis and group it together with the first bar. What this does is create a group with the center point on the bottom line of the top bar on the axis. And as the second bar is invisible, you only see the growing and shrinking happening to the top half of the group. When you apply your Grow Shrink animation to the group, go to the Effect Options and change the Grow to Vertical, and there you have it, a bar that grows or shrinks from the point on the axis. It's a great effect and an excellent way to tell a story.